I want us to go to Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, and I want to deal with the topic entitled, Now Faith. Now Faith. All right, so let's get into it. And it says this, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, and the evidence of things not yet seen. Now I want us to have a look at this thing, because it's really important that we get this. The Bible says, Now faith is. What does faith do? My trusting in God accelerates the promise that has been given me. Even if I cannot see the substance. In other words, if you are trusting God for something and you are believing Him, your faith will make it come into play for you faster than what you can believe. Okay, so right now we need to believe God. We need to trust God. We need to trust that God is going to do something for us. And we're going to call these things in. Now, you might be trusting God for a job. And you need to say, God, I'm looking for a job. Faith is going to pull it in. Hope is the promise that you are going to get it. But faith is what causes that promise to accelerate its time. So in other words, what could have taken five years for you to get something you can have in a day. And so this is the thing that we need to look at because Jesus Christ is looking for us to operate in faith. He's expecting us to operate in faith. In fact, he says this, I hope that when I get to the earth that I'm still going to find faith on the earth. That's a very scary scripture. It means that he's doubting whether there's even going to be faith left on the earth. Why? Because we are going to be so caught up with the world system. How many of us are not already moving away from trusting God and relying on the world system. We've got to be so careful of this as believers, especially in the century we're living in. You know, we need to believe God and trust God no matter what is going on around us. But what I like about the scriptures is this, we need to have now faith. I need to have faith for something that's happening now. So saints, Right now, at any given time, I have a list of things that I'm trusting God for. There's never a time that you'll find me not trusting or believing God for something. Because I have made it a mission to develop and increase my faith. Like I said to you right now, I'm busy increasing my faith right now as we speak in the healing areas. I want to see some of the greatest miracles like God promised. But I have to have the faith to release it. I have to have the faith because the person who's sick doesn't have faith. I know what it's like when you're sitting there with machines all over the place and you don't have the energy to do what you would like to do. And so I want to challenge us today. Are you prepared to stand and believe God? Are you starting to believe God and say, God, now faith is going to activate. I'm going to call my faith to bring it in now in the name of Jesus Christ. Saints, when we come around the table, let us ask God to help us to develop our faith and to grow. That's one of the things that Jesus Christ often did to his disciples. He rebuked them for the lack of faith. Do yourself a favor. Go and just, even if you go type it up in, in Google, go and look up the term, ye of little faith. And see how many times Jesus Christ used that term. He was really trying to help the disciples to develop in this thing of trusting him and trusting him only. So saints, I want to say this. We need to grow up. We need to be strong. We need to be solid. And we need to be men and women of faith. That was some of the criteria that they did when they chose the seven, uh, the seven uh, deacons. One of the criteria was that to be men and women of faith. They had to know how to believe God. So let us be that in Jesus' name. Father, I ask you right now to forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, action, motive, or intention. But Lord, right now in the name of Jesus Christ, we come before you. And Lord, I thank you for a supernatural move of your spirit in our lives. Lord, I thank you that our faith is growing. And Lord, that we are trusting you for our daily needs. Lord, I thank you that on the night that you were betrayed, you took bread and broke it. You said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. He took the cup and he said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. And Lord, I thank you right now that as we take of the elements, Lord, we will see the blessing, the glory, and the power of God in our lives in Jesus' name. But Lord, I thank you that we will not slack in our faith. 
And Lord, we will believe you and trust you for everything in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's but take together, saints. Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, I release the healing power of God over our bodies right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, that by your stripes we were healed. And Lord, I command every single symptom of sickness to loose our bodies. I thank you, Lord, that we are healed. And Lord, I thank you that every symptom go right now in Jesus' name. And everybody say, Amen and Amen. Well, folks, I want to bless you this morning. I want to tell you that it's an awesome, awesome time to be alive. Amen. It's a wonderful, wonderful Saturday and we are into September and we are into spring. And I'm just so excited about what God is doing and what he's going to do in and through the believers. But I want to say this. All right. Tonight, um, we've got some guest speakers on. So please get ready for that. But I want to ask each and every Christian right now. Saints, do not, do not get slack in this season. All right. Do not get slack in this season. There are many things that are going on behind the scenes. There are many things that are going on in our nation where it needs our attention. All right. And we need to keep praying. I want to thank everybody who prayed over last week um, with regards to uh, the BRICS thing, as well as also those that signed the petitions against the marriage thing. I want to thank you very much for standing in the gap. But listen to me. I want to say this. We need to be awake. We need to be aware. And we need to be ready for what's coming. Amen. And so that's why I want to encourage you. Please come to the fire conference if you can make it 7th to the 10th. Okay, of September, we have got the fire conference in Pretoria. Please get there because we need to get ourselves energized and we need to get ourselves on fire for God because I believe that these battles are going to get intense and there are going to be times when you're going to just be able to just get in, ignited and fired up again so that you're ready for the next round. Do not think the devil's going to take it easy and back off. So let's pray for our families. Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, I pray for our families in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for every unsaved family member. I thank you, God, that they're coming in in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, that you're going to do something supernatural in their lives. Lord, that there's going to be a supernatural flow of your spirit for each and every one of them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you that as we grow and develop, Lord, that we are not going to get slack in our faith, but Lord, we are going to trust you for them in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you. That each and every one will come and serve you. Each and every one will come into its, its purpose and destiny that you have for them as a family. Father, I pray your blessing and protection over each one of our families. Lord, that we will not be the same again. That we will go out with might and valor. Lord, as a family unit and fulfill what you're, you have called us for. Lord, I thank you for each and every calling of each family. Lord, each individual. Lord, I call that forth in Jesus' name, their purpose, their destiny. And I thank you, Lord, that we are not going to be the same again in Jesus' name. And Lord, I thank you that you'll just bless us this weekend as we spend time with friends and family. And Father, I thank you, Lord, that we will have a special time together in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.